Hello friends, welcome to freeprojects.com and this is my new project online GST calculator and I have used uh, PHP and MySQL for developing this project and for front end part I have used the HTML CSS3 and bootstrap theme so you can see so this is the bootstrap theme and this is a totally responsive website so this website will work really perfectly in mobile devices as well as the tabs and uh, i have used many of the jquery library for giving the project a good effect so you can see there is a slider above the page so this you can slide from these arrows or you can switch the slide from these switches okay and once if i load this project then you can see that the all elements are loading very slowly so this is also a effect of the jquery this which is called the wow effect so you can see that all the elements are loading very slowly so this is also a jquery library okay and and we i have used uh, i have developed two types of roles in this project the first one is the admin role and the second one is a user role uh, the normal customer role so admin will be responsible for performing each and every operations and customer will be perform only the gst calculation means if any customer has a product and then what he will do that he will select the product from the drop down and he will enter the product price and after after clicking on the submit button the system will calculate the full product price including the gst according to the rate of that product uh, and the gst percentage and it will display on the websites okay so for the technology state as i, I as i have already told you that i have developed this project in php mysql so and the php version which i am using to run this project is 7 and the mysql version is 5.5 and you can configure this project easily on your xam vam and apache 2 also if you have any uh, mac system then you can easily configure this project on your mac system as well as the linux system and windows system so currently i am using the mac and you can see this project is running well in the mac system also this is totally a response web uh, responsive website so the ui will not be distorted if you uh, open this website into the mobile or any of the tab okay so let's start with the functionality one by one that what are the features available in the project so this is the home page of the project and this is the slider which i have integrated on the home page and the second one is the about a space so i have had it there what is the gst and what is about the gst calculator so this is on the about a space and i have added a small slider on this about a space also then you can change this slider if just replacing the image and then this is the search gst so uh, i have added a lot of projects in uh, products in back in the admin panel so all the products are displaying here so you can see there are a lot of products that what is the gst rate the, for the hair oil that is the cosmetic and the gst rate is nine percent and the daily needs this is the toothpaste and this is a type of daily needs and nine percent so all the gst rates are showing here according to their types and the product co uh, product type so next one is so if you want to search any type any things then you can search it from here so suppose if i uh, i want to see the gst rate of the computer then just click on the computer then you will be able to see the gst rate of the computer and if you want to uh, check uh, by category then just select that uh, product type and click on the source then all the cos cosmetic products which is available in the database will be displayed here so these are the two filters uh, which i have included in the project so you can search it by the product name and you can search it by the product type so if you uh, write a short name here then all the projects which contains the com will be displayed here next one is account registration so this is the customer registration form so if any customer comes on the website and he will be able to register on the website and after that he will be able to calculate their product cost uh, according to their types so what he will do that he will enter the product name and sorry he will select the product type and he will enter the uh, the product amount and the gst will be automatically calculated according to the cost and the type of the product 
okay so this is the customer login so i have already told you that there are two types of login the first one is the customer lo login and the second one is the admin login so customer and admin login has a separate uh, table so this is a totally session based system if customer logins into the system then the above menu will be changed so this menu will be changed if customer login into the system and if admin login into the system then the menu will be changed according to the admin role and permission and if none of the user is logged into the system then this menu will be like this so you can see that the menu will be changed automatically according to the permission of the customer and the admin this is the contact us page so i have added the real G google map so you can see that google map is working and for running this google map your laptop and the desktop must have the internet connection because without internet connection your google map will not load so this is the google map and this is the uh, contact us form so let's start with the admin form so for admin just click on the admin and enter the admin credential okay okay so the i am i have entered the wrong username and password so it's showing okay the invalid username and passwords so let's start with the admin so i i have logged into the system you can see the above menu of the system has been changed so now the above menu has been changed according to the user which has uh, logged into the system so if the admin will uh, log into the system the above menu will be uh, rendered according to the admin role and permission so this is the administrator so what the admin can do admin will be able to add new customers so if any customer comes to the admin then he will be able to register those customer details next one is add new admin so uh, admin will be able to add more admins into the system so system internal products will be able to, uh, internal products can be added by many of the admins and next one is add gst products so what the uh, the this is the products okay so what uh, admin will be able to see that uh, to add that what type of products you want to add and what is the product name and what is the cgst means central gst rate what is the sgst means state gst rate and what is the product descriptions and what is the product picture so admin will be able to add any number of the products into the system and that will be uh, displayed on the front page as well as the admin report okay the second one is the admin product type so uh, in this product type admin will be able to add any number of types just like electronics services cosmetic daily needs these all things uh, will be added uh, will be added from this form by the admin only next one is the report section so uh, admin will be able to see that how many customers has been registered on the website so this is the report form and he will be able to edit the details also the next one is admin form so admin will be able to add any number of admins and he will be able to see that how many admins are there in the system so if we want to edit the details of the admin then he will be able to edit uh, the details of the admin and as well as he will be able to delete the details of the admin next one is a gst product report so all the products which has been added by the admin will be displayed here so now there are 19 products available in the system so if you want to add more then you will be able to add it from the admin panel and that product will be displayed here and as well as you will be able to edit and update the details from this links so you can see see this is the uh, edit form of the product so next is a product type so as i have told you earlier that each product belongs to a product type so all the products type will be managed by the admin and he will be able to edit and update and delete the product types from here okay next one is change password so what the admin will be able to do so from this form so admin will be able to change his current password from this form all right and the logout session once the admin logout from the application then all the session will be displayed destroyed and the above menu will be changed automatically and it will be rendered according to the user role and permission so currently there is no login user so the above menu is in the normal state okay so there is no administration permission is there now let's start with the customer login so i am logging with the customer okay so uh, so once the customer login then there is an option for calculate gst and this calculate gst will be uh, displayed only for the customer none of the admin and the none of the non-login users so for calculating the gst customer must have a lo uh, login user id and password for login to the system then after that he will be able to see the uh, 
uh, calculate the GST. Okay, let's see that. Okay, uh, so I am I want to uh, calculate the GST of almonds, and what is the cost? The cost is one thousand rupees. Then just click on the calculate GST. Now the system is automatically picking up the GST rate. So that okay, there is the GST rate of six percent of the almond, and you can sell the that almonds in 1120 rupees let's see in the uh thank you what is the rate so there is almonds okay there is a six percent rate for the almonds okay let's see okay so i am calculating the rate for the hair oil okay let's go and see the hair oil and the cost is hair oil is 800 rupees so now once i add the uh, once I uh, click on the calculate button, then okay, the hair while cost is 100 rupees, then the, the GST rate will be applied as uh, SGST will be 9% and the uh, CGST will be 9%. So total cost will be 9 rupees and 9 rupees, and total cost of that product will be 118 rupees. So this is the main purpose of developing this project. So the any of the customer will be able to calculate the cost according to the GST rate from the website, right? So he, he doesn't have to remember all of the product cost, just he will be able to, he will log into this, he logins into the system and just select the product type, enter the amount and all the GST rate will be calculated according to the government rate that what, how much government are charging the GST on that product. So all the products are able into the system and if any products are missing then you will be able to add the products in that system <clears throat> okay so this is the project uh, which i have developed and if you have any issue then you can post it in the comment and if you need any extra feature in the project then you can also post into the comment and i will implement those things into my project and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeprojects.com and thanks thanks for watching the video